Hi, Amy with Experience the Quilt. Here's a quick tip for you. When you're working on an art quilt, or a traditional quilt in that matter, and you have a piece of fabric that is just not dark enough, here is a fun and quick way to fix that. So I have a piece of fabric here that I painted, and it's really hard to paint super dark colors, and I need this to be dark like a shadow. And it was just showing up as a medium instead of a dark. So what I did is I got me a piece of Misty Fuse Black. It is this light fusible adhesive that has no paper. It's not sticky, but when you iron it, it is. And it's just awesome. And it's, so it's super sheer. Can you see how sheer that is? So I'm gonna place it over my piece of fabric that I know I want it to be a shadow. So that would be my stickiness. You could just use that and just leave it at that, but it wasn't dark enough for me. This will dry um, after you press it, it will dry clear, but you won't be able to tell that today. So here is a piece of sheer, uh, I don't remember what you call it. It's just a sheer fabric that I had in my stash. It's smooth and it's like for dresses normally, but I'm going to place it over top of my shape. Then I'm going to, so my first is my fabric right side up, my misty fuse black, and then my sheer. Now I'm gonna place just a paper towel over the top and my iron turned off. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick glide and I've changed my iron temperature to low because of the fabric I'm ironing it on. That sheer fabric can't tolerate a lot of heat. The paper towel will help it, but I'm gliding over the top of it, not holding it in one place and just getting that hot enough that the Misty Fuse will adhere to my piece of fabric and my sheer. We'll test it. Not enough. Probably because my iron turned off on me. Once this is done and you have, once you have put it back in the, into the quilt and then you press the entire thing, because this is just a temporary adhesive at first, when you press it all again to the base of my quilt, then that misty fuse will disappear and you won't be able to see it. You'll just have that sheer. And now I pull that up and this is a goddess sheet. It's a little hot, you have to be careful. Now they're all fused together and I'm gonna cut it out and have a perfect dark shadow for my piece in my quilt. Because before that purple was just too much of a medium. And when you're working with a pictorial quilt in particular, and you have to go off of the light, then you need a nice dark fabric. Now I know you've got those extra quilt tops laying around in your studio that need to be finished. At experiencethequilt.com, you can place an order and drop off or ship those quilts to us and we will quilt them up or couch them. Check it out.